I, well, hey there, guys. It is me, Weedman, back at you guys with a definitive tier list for you guys. Today, we are going to be doing a tier list of all of my favorite juices, right? So these are all my favorite juices. I'm going to do a juice tier list. Uh, so here we have all the ones that I have had and have tried. And uh, these are all the ones that I haven't. I also went ahead and simplified some things. Like there was two different tequilas. There was three different things for wine. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones for beer. Uh, so I just went ahead and condensed it all down. Uh, unless there was a big, significant, much of a difference. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> unless there was a significant difference between them, kind of like ale, cider, and regular beer. But if they're just all very similar, like like all the wines, you know, it's like, yeah, you have red wine and white wine and rosé and all that. But they're all pretty much the same, at least to me and my palate. All right, anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and start off this tier list, all right? So first up, we have ale. Now, I like ale. I probably like it a little bit more than beer, uh, just because it's a little less bitter, I guess. I don't really know that that that, that beer taste, the pungent. I don't know. I like it. Uh, Ace Ales are really nice. Those are probably my favorite ones. Uh, but it, out of all the drinks, it's definitely not my favorite. So I think I'm going to go B. Yeah, I think I'm going to go B, because it's not like, oh my god, let me get an ale. But if I ever, like, sometimes I'll be in the mood for it, or sometimes I'll have offer one, I'll be like, yeah, that sounds nice, but it's not really something that I find myself, like, actively wanting. Now, next, this says bourbon whiskey, but I'm just going ahead and putting it all as whiskey because it had, like, cognac and brandy and all those different other variants of it. But I'm just going to go ahead and put whiskey. Now, look, I do not like whiskey. I don't know. I just, I really do not like that woody kind of taste. Um, part of it is I drank too much of it at certain points in my life. Uh, and so I just don't really like it anymore. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I'm warming back up to it, but it's not really a, a flavor or a taste profile that I'm actively wanting to pursue again. However, some of it, some of it is pretty good. So I got to give it and see, uh, just because it is a very good type of juice, right? But it's just not my personal favorite. I don't really like that wood oaky kind of taste. Now, next we have champagne. Now, look, I've only ever had champagne in a mimosa. As far as I'm aware, I could be misremembering things. But as far as I remember, it's only mimosas. However, I really like mimosas. Mimosas are fucking good. They're great. If you ever get the chance to do it, do it. And I kind of got to give it A because it's like it's easy. It's light. It's refreshing. You can kind of have it any time of day. And so just because the versatility and the ease of use, <laughs> essentially, I'm going to go ahead and put it in A. Now, next we have cider. Now, I like ciders better than ales. I do. Uh, however, they do basically just kind of taste like fruit because they're, they're very, they're very easy to get down, which is why I kind of like them a little bit more. I'm not too experienced with ciders. I haven't had too many, but the ones I have had have all been really just crisp and nice and easy to get down. So therefore I'm going to go ahead and put it in a probably below champagne because champagne, I like the taste of it a little bit more that that signature champagne taste. I actually do quite like, so I'm gonna give cider a now next we have gin. Now gin, gin is my, gin's my boy, right? Like this shit, I can have any time. This is great. I love it. The uh, the feeling it gives you, it's fucking phenomenal. I love gin. Just the, just the taste, the the in your faceness of it. Just how harsh it is. I don't know. There's something about gin that just I like it. Call me fucking crazy, but gin's my boy. And so that for that point, I gotta give it S. And genuinely, I know it's kind of early in the video, but this is the top of the list. Nothing's getting higher than my boy gin. All right. So you can click off now if you want. I don't give a fuck. But this is the top of the list. And it's always going to be. All right. Now, next we have Jägermeister. Now, Jägermeister, I've only had once or twice. And I didn't really like it, if I'm being honest. Uh, I just, I don't really like that uh, the licorice flavor. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, however, I do want to try uh, Jäger bombs. Though I've, I've heard those are pretty good. And I mean, it has Red Bull in it, I think. Uh, so how can you go wrong with that, right? It is also, from my understanding, a little bit more of a thicker one, like a sugary one. So you do kind of have to be careful with it. I'm pretty sure that this is the stuff that if you drink too much of it, you get diabetes. Is that what I'm thinking of or am I thinking of something else? I don't know. Anyway, I've only had a little bit of it. I do want to try it again, but I'm just not that interested in drinking at this point in my life that I would go out and do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really like do it for fun. You know what I mean? Because like when I first started drinking, I was like, oh, this is a new fun experience that I can do with my friends. Let me go out and try all the different variants and all that uh, because I wanted to understand it. You know what I mean? And now that I understand it, I'm just like, eh, I know what I like. You know what I like? Malts and uh, some beer and stuff like that. Pretty mild stuff. So at that point, I think I can think I got to put Jaeger and B. 
This is again, I don't really have that many experiences with it. Um, and also, I just don't really like that licorice taste. It's just not just not something I enjoy. I don't like black licorice, black licorice either for that same reason. So I, it's got to go on B, unfortunately. Sorry, all you Jaeger fanboys. I know you guys are in forces. <laughs> uh, next, we have Kahlua. Now, Kahlua, I like Kahlua. I think Kahlua is really good. I've only ever had a little bit of it, and I do definitely want more of it uh, just to try it and see if I still like it. Uh, but it's basically just coffee from what I remember. It's literally just coffee and alcohol. I think it's rum. I had it when I, I had it when I went to the beach and it was pretty nice. It was, it was a fun trip. Um, oh, fuck, where would I do it though? Like, where would I put, where would I put it <sighs> now? Even though I do really like it and I do really like the coffee taste of it. I don't think it's something that I can find myself drinking very often. It seems like that's kind of one of those drinks that you use it for specific cocktails or you just have it when you're just randomly in the mood one day. Um, unless you're like that level of alcoholic where you put it in your coffee every morning, but I'll never get there. So honestly, I think I gotta give it low A. I think I'm gonna give it low A because I do really like it, but it's not something that you would find yourself drinking a lot. And next we have kombucha. Now, I don't know why this is on here. I didn't even know kombucha was alcoholic. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is talking about like prison kombucha or prison hooch as it's uh, colloquially called. <laughs> But I really don't like kombucha. I think it's just fucking nasty and I just don't like it. Uh, so I got to put it in F. And if you hate me, I do not care. I know it. I know it's healthy for you and it's got like antibiotics or probiotics, uh, stuff like that. And I, I do kind of want to give it another try just because it does have some health benefits. But I just can't fucking bring myself to ever do it. Now next we have mead. Now I've only ever had mead one time when I was at one of my very good friend's bachelor parties. And I remember what mead tasted like. And that's about it from that time. <laughs> no, it was, it was a great time. And nothing, nothing too crazy happened. Anyway, mead. Now, I like mead. Mead is very sweet. Mead is a lot sweeter, surprisingly, than beer or cider. Even cider. It's, it's more sugary, though. It's very sugary. It's very sugary. It's very sweet. It is a little bit pungent, but nothing, nothing too bad. Like, it is pretty easy to get down. Now, ugh. Now, again, it's kind of one of those things that I don't really see myself drinking too often. Um, like if you were to ask me if I'd rather have a mead, a cider, or an ale consistently, I would always pick ale and cider over mead. So although mead is good, I got to give it low B just because, again, I'm never going to just want that on the regular. However, it is very good. It is definitely very good. And if you haven't had it, I genuinely recommend it. It's very, it's very sweet. It's kind of like a honey. It's got a very like honey-y kind of taste. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's very good. Now, next we have Mezcal. Now, Mezcal, Mezcal, sorry, um, is the one thing on this list that I have drank in one time and I will never, ever do it again. <laughs> Mezcal is the one that I genuinely will say, no, 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 sir, no more. <laughs> so I got to give it F below kombucha because it's not good for me. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Um, I just, it was just, it just wasn't, a, it was just not a good experience for me. Uh, way too much. Wait, it just fucking knocked me the hell out. Um, <laughs> so for that reason, I don't drink it anymore. Um, also, it has that very, like, woody taste that whiskey does, but even fucking stronger somehow. And it's, like, smoky, too. Um, so I just, I, I, I don't, I don't touch the stuff. It's going in F, I'm sorry. Next we have wine. I just went ahead and lumped all the wines together. It had a, I mean, I guess champagne is kind of like wine, but you know, it's sparkling wine. Uh, but it had red wine, white wine, and rosé. I'm going to be taking all of them into account when I say this. Uh, now, I do like wine. I really do. Uh, I'll enjoy it every now and again. Again, it's not really something that I'm consistently like, oh my God, let me have this. Or I'll have it in like the fridge or something. It's something that I just kind of get on a whim or something that I get when there's a reason. Like if I go to like a dinner party or something. Um, but I think I'm going to put it in A above Kahlua. Because I'm definitely going to want this more often than I would Kahlua. Wine was actually the very first thing I ever, ever drank. It was the day I turned 21. Uh, that's right. I didn't drink until I was 21. Exactly on the day. I don't think I ever waited to midnight. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I just woke up and treated it like a normal day. And then when I got to dinner time, I was like, let me have some of that wine. <laughs> so I have a lot of good, I have a lot of good um, experiences and memories with wine. Thankfully, nothing too bad um, or really bad at all. I moved the camera. Deal with it. 
So I'm gonna give it low A. Then next we have sake. Now sake is something that I do also really, really enjoy. I haven't had too much of it, but I have had enough of it. It has sort of like a grapeish kind of flavor to it. Um, it's not as good as another one that's very, very close to this, which I'll be talking about later. But I do really like it. But again, in terms of like when I want this, it's never like, a, oh, let me go get that to restock the fridge or let me get this after a night off of work or whatever. But I think I'm going to go ahead and give it high B because I do tend to want it more than a little bit. Ah, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put it there because I think ale, ale is basically just a fucking beer for being honest. Now, next we have schnapps. Now, I've only really ever had peach schnapps and even then it was always in a cocktail. So I don't even really know why I'm ranking this if I have <laughs> to be entirely honest. However, um, I'm gonna go D just because, I mean, it is very, I don't know. It's very weird schnapps. I mean, maybe I'm thinking of a different thing, but from my understanding of schnapps, it's, it's more like a flavoring. It's more like a mixer. It's kind of like blue carousel. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it has alcohol in it, but it's more so there for flavor. I don't know. That's how I've always had or seen schnapps interact with stuff. I've never heard anyone just get a shot of schnapps. Actually, no, I did one time. Uh, at the restaurant I work at, this lady got two shots of peach schnapps or something like that. And I asked the bartender about it and she was like, that's just straight up flavoring. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to throw schnapps in D just because it seems like it's a mix. It's more of a mixer than anything else. All right. Now next we have soju. Now look, I really like soju. Soju is fucking great. Um, I've only ever had it one time. No. Yes. I've only ever had it one time, but it was so good. It tasted... Actually, no, technically I had it twice. Anyway, um, the flavor is very good. The feeling of it is very good. It's easy to get down. It's easy to drink. It really does taste like juice. And honestly, I think I got to go ahead and put it in S. Because it's like, it's a little bit harder than a beer, but not, not, not like a whole lot. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put it in low S for right now. Now, next we have tequila. Now, tequila... Tequila, I will not drink unless it's offered to me for um, very similar reasons to the Mezcal. Um, just a lot of just not good associations with it. Um, it's not good for me. <laughs> nothing, nothing too bad, nothing too crazy, but it's not good. <laughs> so honestly, I got to put it in C uh, below bourbon or below whiskey, sorry. Just because again, I am almost never going to fucking reach for this you know what i mean like i'll never just think oh hey let's have tequila or say oh i've had a long day at work let me go grab a nice cold tequila <laughs> so for that point i gotta give it and see now if i was going off of a general feel or even really taste if it was off a of taste i'd probably go ahead and put it in a and if it was going off a of feeling it would go here <laughs> but <laughs> basing it off of if I, as a rational person, will drink it. It's got to go here. <laughs> so that's tequila. Hate me if you want. All right, now next we got vodka. Now vodka has, re has relatively no taste. That's something that you could just kind of put in something and not even notice it, uh, which is very dangerous. Now it's very dangerous. So you do have to really be careful because you can just straight up put it in orange juice or put it in a soda or something and just not even taste it, or at least I can't. <laughs> And honestly, just off of personal experiences and personal, like, enjoyment and how much I've gone for it, I think I'm going to put it in A. I think I'm going to put it in high A above champagne. Uh, fuck, would I put vodka above champagne? That's the fucking question, folks, now, isn't it? Because, like, champagne, right? You got, the, you got the ease of use. Like, you can drink that all day, every day. You can have that on your lunch break for all you fucking care, and you'll be fine. You'll be chilling, right? But with vodka... It's vodka. <laughs> it's so clean. It's so crisp. There's no taste. There's no flavor, right? And the feel of it's pretty good too. And it's not like tequila where it's like too much because you can be absolutely fucked up on vodka and be entirely, uh, be entirely fine, but you can be buzzed off tequila and make the worst goddamn decision of your life. <laughs> so honestly, I think just going off a of personal enjoyment on this one, I think I am going to put vodka in A. All right, now next we have, this says wheat beer. I went ahead and just lumped all beer in here. I know I had the mead, which is sort of similar, sort of not, but this is just basically just all beer. 
Uh, so beer, just in general, it's nice, it's crisp, it's refreshing, it's the, the go-to drink for a working man or a sports game or many, many, many stupid things that have been posted online. <laughs> and honestly, I gotta put it in S, I think below... You know what, I think I'd put it here, honestly, just because I would be reaching for it more than soju. Now, obviously, I don't reach for gin. I, I mean, if anything, if I was going simply off of, like, usage or how much I have it, bear would be at the top. It's like, there's no fucking question anymore. That's kind of all I really have now. Um, and malt beverages. Beverages. <laughs> malt beverages. Like Smirnoff Ices and shit. I do probably have those the most. Uh, gin's gotta go at the top. I told you earlier before, no matter what, it was top S, so... Eh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm putting beer second place. Now, last we have white rum. Now, I like white rum. Um, I used to drink a lot of it. When I first turned 21, uh, I was in another state with some out-of-state friends. And uh, <laughs> I think it was a couple days after I turned 21. We went to the we went to this uh, really, really big liquor store they had there. I think we spent like fucking $200 or some shit. Uh, I drove home with so much goddamn alcohol that trip. It was absurd. <laughs> anyway, I ended up walking out with like the biggest size of the shit that you can get. I don't exactly remember how much or what the size is. I think it's like a quart or a liter or some shit. I don't, I don't fucking know. Gallon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I have a lot of memories. A lot, of, a lot of pretty good nights on uh, White Realm. Actually, thinking about it, that is a really, really nice feeling that you get from this. However, I just don't really like the taste of it. It tastes too much like nothing to me, but too much of something either. That was, that was so fucking bad. So with vodka, it's like, it's absolutely nothing. Like, you do not taste it at all. But with the white rum, you don't taste it, but you taste something. It's like, it changes the taste of the drink. And sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's fucking great. But a lot of times, it's not, it just doesn't mix well. You know what I mean? Um, so honestly, for that, I think I gotta go in B. Uh, yeah, it's definitely going in B, but where in B? I think I'm gonna just go middle B. I think middle B is very fair for rum. Because, like, I would most of the time prefer an ale or a sake, uh, but I would definitely prefer it more than a Jaeger or a mead. So for that reason, it's gotta go middle B. Very... Pretty much center of the list, if we're being honest. All right, so that was the last one on the tier list. The last one to enter, anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the list really quick and kind of make some adjustments, make sure this is where I want everything definitively. And of course, I'm going to take you guys along for it and see if there's anything that shows up. All right, so on S tier, we got gin, beer, and soju. Nothing's changing there. All right, so some adjustments that I do want to make is I think I want to bump Kahlua down uh, to B tier. Um, just because again, I'm not really drinking it that much. And so for that reason, I got to bump it down. Now, real honestly, I might put Kahlua down in C. No, no, it's, it's definitely going in B, but I think it's going to go probably here. Uh, just because I would definitely prefer these, but, eh, let's see. I'm probably more likely to drink Jaeger than Kahlua. Am I? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I got to put it here. Um, and thinking about it, thinking about the B tier too, I think I'm definitely going to put mead above Jaeger just because I think I would enjoy having mead again more than I would enjoy having Jaeger again. Um, another thing that I do think is only fair to move up would be tequila, uh, just because I did talk it up so much and it is just a good drink to have. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to B just to be a little bit more fair. I would probably bump up whiskey too, thinking about it again, but I got to leave it in C because something needs to be in C. Alright, so this is the definitive Weed Man Juice tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, we'll be going over this one by one. So we'll do that right now. So now in S tier, we got gin. Now, gin is my boy. I love gin. I'll always have gin. Um, if you don't like it, I understand. <laughs> it's rough. It's harsh. It kicks you in the ass, but that's why I like it. Next, we got beer. Very self-explanatory. It's a beer. Everyone likes beer. Soju. Soju is my personal favorite. Uh, outside of beer, it's kind of like an everyday kind of kind of thing. So that's S tier. A tier, we got vodka. We got champagne. We got cider and red wine. Um, nothing really much to say here. Champagne, anytime, any day. Uh, cider pretty much tastes like juice. Uh, wine is just nice. And then vodka is fun. 
Now in B tier, we got Tequila, Ale, Sake, White Rum, Kahlua, Mead, and Jägermeister. Nothing really memorable here. Uh, White Rum is the straight middle of the pact when it comes to this. Uh, sake, I like. Ale is okay. Tequila is very, very fun and very, very enjoyable, but I shouldn't have it anymore. <laughs> C, we got whiskey because something needs to be in C. D, we have schnapps because it's more of a mixer. And F, we have kombucha because it's nasty. And we have mezcal because it almost killed me. <laughs> anyway, that'll go ahead and do it for this episode. Episode? Yeah. We're making episodes of these now. Uh, honestly, watch out for more tier lists because these things are kind of getting real fucking fun to make, if I'm being honest. So I hope you guys enjoy this official juice tier list. Um, feel free to believe this because this is a definitive tier list. And if you disagree, uh, too bad. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed. If you're new here, please subscribe. And remember to come back next Wednesday at 12 for another video like this. Come back Friday at 12 for a gaming video and come back Monday at 12 for another podcast episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Bro, this shit's kind of fucking fun. I like, I like making tier lists. God damn.